This is your KCTV 5 News Update. Kelly Taylor here with your KCTV 5 Alexa update. The man convicted of three hate crime killings in Overland Park died in prison. The El Dorado Correctional Facility says Frazier Glenn Cross died Monday of what appeared to be natural causes. On April 13, 2014, Cross opened fire outside the Jewish Community Center and the Village Shalom Retirement Center. Cross says he intended to kill Jewish people. He killed 53-year-old Terry Lamano, 69-year-old William Corporon, and his 14-year-old grandson, Rhett Underwood. Now, none of his victims were Jewish. A jury convicted him of capital murder, and he was sentenced to die. His lawyers recently appealed that sentence, arguing Cross should not have been allowed to represent himself at his trial. He was 80 years old. And happening today, the man charged with shooting at police officers and hitting an elementary school with gunfire is scheduled to enter a plea today. In March of 2019, officers went to Dylan Ruffin's house after shots were heard at Highland Elementary School. Now, Ruffin came out of the house with a handgun pointed at officers. When he refused to drop the gun, officers shot him. No one else was hurt. Ruffin is charged with three counts of assault on a deadly excuse me, assault on a law enforcement officer. And judges could issue lifelong restraining orders under a bill passed by the Missouri legislature Monday. Currently, orders of protection are limited to one a year, one year at most. After that, victims have to go back to court to get an extension. Now, under the bill, judges have the option to grant restraining orders for longer lengths of time, depending on the potential threat. The law would also allow restraining orders to cover people's pets. And Americans are buying more guns than ever. The FBI says it conducted more than three and a half million gun related background checks last month. That's a 20 percent increase over the same period last year. The National Shooting Sports Foundation, which cross references checks with actual purchases, says more guns were sold last month than any April on record. Hello, I'm Bill Hurlbrink with your Tuesday afternoon weather update. Rain continues to move off to our east. A little bit of heavier stuff located in central Missouri right now, but I think you'll see the rain start to die down for the Kansas City area as it continues away east and cloud cover will clear out as well as we go through this afternoon from west to east as well, leading to clear skies as we head into the evening hours. I think we top out near 60 degrees today, but the clear skies, calm winds will make it pretty chilly overnight. Wouldn't be surprised to wake up with temperatures near 40 degrees tomorrow on and off rain chances through the rest of the week with temperatures look to rebound into the 70s by the weekend. Have a great day. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.